Hi everyone, it's Louise from Lulu Purple. Today's project is part two of my mixed media art journal come memory book. So I've managed to lose a bit of the video footage, but basically I have stuck some tissue paper with some white PVA glue watered down, so 50-50 for PVA glue and water. I'll show you in a moment the process. So I'm literally cutting the tissue paper up, screwing it up a bit, and then sticking it down with the PVA glue and water mix. Just to say also that my PVA glue isn't anything special. It is just a PVA builder's glue, which I picked up from the local hardware shop. This is the next day and the glue has all dried and as you can see I've got a bit of a bend in one of my covers so I'm just using my heat tool to um, manipulate the bend so it's not quite as obvious. I'm using a stencil called Bubble, this is one of the Tim Holtz stencils and I'm going to use my modelling paste through the stencil. Because the stencil slipped slightly, I am just removing some of the modelling paste before it dries where it was a bit smudged together. I'm going to leave the modelling paste to dry overnight and this is the next morning when the modelling paste is all dried. So now I need to cover the whole of my journal with my black gesso. I will show you a little bit and then skip forward to the end. I am also going to paint each page of my journal with my black gesso, but I won't show you this as it would be a bit boring. Once my journal is all dried, I then use my Berry Dazzling Metallics by DecoArt, and I'm just going to use this to paint the front and back cover of my journal.
just to say that the layer of berry metallic paint I'm not too worried that it isn't a perfect coverage because I still want some of the black gesso showing through once the paint has all dried I then use my shimmering silver metallic paint and I'm just going to dry brush this over the top of the berry paint And that is this project all finished. So this is my mixed media art journal come memory book made from cereal boxes. When I do get round to doing the inside pages, I will put the videos in the same playlist so, so you can find them easily. If you would like to buy any of the products I've used in this video, they will be listed on my website blog post. I will leave a link in the description box below this video. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video, if you have please give me a thumbs up or leave me a comment and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, click on the bell icon so you never miss a new video. Links to my website, Facebook and more will be in the description box below or click on the end cards at the end of this video. Thanks again for watching and I hope you got inspired.